Hi, this is Ted. I'm going to be talking today real quickly about Sid Roth. Sid Roth is a late night show host, kind of like a late night show host, only he's on YouTube, so anybody can see it anytime. He's kind of like the Johnny Carson of all things weird in the evangelical charismatic movement. He has people on who've gone to heaven for hours and talked to Jesus and then come back and tell us all about it. He's had people who are big prophets predicting President Trump would make a second term and now trying to figure out how they can justify what they said without looking too bad. He claims at the four minute mark that President Trump is a born again believer. Where he gets us in all likelihood, I think he's reading into President Trump what he wants to see. Many of the prophets do not believe that it's over, that President Trump will get back into office soon. He doesn't seem to agree or disagree. Sid just mentions it in passing. But he does say God is not finished with the United States. In fact, at the 9.45, the 9 minute 45 second mark, and right around there, he says and claims that God is going to bring about what he calls the golden global glory. In other words, that revival that all charismatics are waiting for. All our prayers for Trump during that era, praying that he would make it into office is going to reach to heaven. All those prayers are going to reach to heaven. And that with God's promise and God's blessing on the United States, we're going to see that revival. It's going to happen. Isaiah 61 through 3 in the Amplified Bible is happening right now. God is preparing. God is using the United States to facilitate and, and get this revival on the run right now. Darkness may seem to be here, but light is coming. Repentance like you've never seen before is coming, and it's going to happen this year. Now, Robin Bullock likewise claims the same thing. Within a month or two, we're going to see, we're going to see this tremendous revival. Sid believes it's going to happen sometime this year. Here's how he explains the revival. Evangelism will be beyond billions. It will be unnumerable. Billions giving their lives to Christ. Prophecy like this generation has never seen. God is going to be pouring out his spirit upon all flesh. And sons and daughters will prophesy so much is going to be unbelievable. Millions of Samuel-like prophets. Samuel from the Bible where the word of God never failed. Millions of those will be unleashed. We are the wrap-up of the final era. We are in that era. We are on the verge of it. And God wants to use America to do this. Every time we walk down the street, demons will flee. Literally, people who are demon-possessed will walk by us and get delivered. When we go into auditoriums, we will have demons, but every demon will flee and we will all leave those auditoriums and the demons will have left millions of miracles, mass miracles, glory miracles, divine health. Christians will never get sick again. We will walk like Moses walked in the glory of God, only with him it kind of slowly disappeared. For us it won't. In fact, the glory coming from us will be so strong that people will have to wear sunglasses and veils to protect them from the light shining from us at the mere age of 120. We will be stronger, stronger than 30 year olds. Kenneth Copeland stepped back. You, you, you gonna live to 120? That's nothing compared to Sid Roth. Billions will be saved, radically saved, just like Sid Roth. He claims, just like I was, radically saved, not just saved like in a Billy Graham crusade, but radically saved. He does correct himself a little bit. Oh, we, we do like Billy. The church will be reshaped. 
the United States will be reshaped, Israel will be reshaped, and the world will be reshaped. The fear of the Lord will come upon unbelievers. God will get all the glory. The devil's going to shake in his boots. All right, here's the story. Prophets have been predicting two or three different events coming. The one was President Trump would be the next president. It didn't happen. Some of them are going back and saying, no, it will happen still. It's not going to happen. Sorry. The second thing they all predict is we are on the verge of this tremendous revival. I've just explained to you Sid Roth's point of view. They all have little slightly different variations of this. But it all comes out of that 1948 revival uh, that took place up in Canada and swept through the United States. And it all comes out of that. It all comes out of the manifest sons of God. Yeah, if you want to know more about that, there are videos all over the place on that. And they all seem to have little variations of the same thing. It's just going to be this powerful, powerful, glorious revival. And as mentioned in a recent video, it's kind of like the carrot that, the, that Satan puts out in front of them. Because they will never reach it. It never, ever comes about. But they're constantly talking about it. Constantly predicting it's coming. Now, the problem with them from one angle is they're getting too specific. If you prophesy and you don't get too specific, you can always backtrack and say, that's not what I meant. This is what I meant. And, oh, your prophecy is right. <laughs> it, it works. But when you get this specific, Donald Trump will make a second term, you are putting yourself in a dangerous position because people will now see that you were wrong. Now, if they say that revival is coming, they can constantly go back and say the revival is coming. For thousands of years, they can say that revival is coming. It's just this close. But when you say in 2021, as he and Robin have both said, and no others have as well, in 2021, that revival is coming. Now you put a date on it. Now you got a problem because 2021 will pass. And this revival, this is my prediction, this revival will not take place. Might there be a small revival of some sort? Sure, but nothing like what they're talking about. Nothing like what they're talking about. And 2022 will come, and now they'll have two prophecies that they've made that did not happen. And they will weasel their ways out, just like they're trying to do with the president not making second term. There's one last prophecy that some of them hold on to. I don't think all of them do. I know Rick Joyner does. And that is, and I know others as well, I've seen several um, who have mentioned this, that there's a war coming first. And as I understand what the war is, the righteous against the unrighteous, yeah, I know that. And God's going to protect the righteous. He's going to just totally humiliate the unrighteous and all that. But people like Rick Joyner are telling people to get your guns ready. This is QAnon type of behavior. Getting your guns ready? This is dangerous area to move in. Now he thinks these are going to be godly people led by the Holy Spirit with their rifles. And he says, he tries to use one little tiny verse in the scripture to justify this, even though the whole New Testament tells something different. But Rick Joyner, being an apostle, he can pretty much say what he wants to say, and it's quote unquote the word of God. This is dangerous stuff. There's so much more I could say about this because time and time again, Christians and unbelievers and different groups have really believed they were doing the world a service God of service by protecting their nation when all they were doing is ruining it. That's all I got to say for today. You guys have a good one.